today is school supply shopping day. Today is school supply shopping day. This is honestly one of my favorite days of the year. I loved school supply shopping as a kid, and I think I like it just as much, if not even more, as an adult. Are you too excited for school supply shopping? Yes. yes. I, crazy thing about me, I like shopping, I like school supply shopping, but I don't like going back to school. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> I think that's pretty normal. It's always hard to say goodbye to summertime. As much as we love school, it's hard to say goodbye to summer. No one loves school. Yes, they do. I mean, I like school. I like my friends. I like my teachers. I like, um, I just don't like doing work. I just don't like doing work. Like, I think we're gonna do our school supply shopping at Target this year. It's where we usually do it because it's nice. They have all the school supply stuff in one section and we can usually find everything on our list. So we're gonna head there now. You should open in 15 minutes. My goal is to get there before it gets too crazy busy. Are you gonna catch your list? Yes. Let's go. that the 2020 school year is going to look different for so many of us. Um, my girls, as you know, we homeschool. We are hopeful that they're going to be able to go to their tutorial um, two days a week where they get together with some other students that are homeschooled. The class sizes are reduced there. They're going to be, of course, taking all sorts of extra precautions to make sure the facility's clean and germs aren't being spread. Um, so that's our plan now, but Things are changing daily, so who knows, we might have a completely different plan a week from now. Now, I know many of you are dealing with different homeschooling situations, different schooling situations, things are gonna look different. I've heard from people um, that they're switching to full-time homeschool next year. I've heard others are going to be attending schools with different precautions in place, wearing masks, and others are doing all sorts of different hybrids where they have partial online school and partial in-class school, and I know it's gonna be a challenge for all of us, and things are gonna look different, but keep in mind that different um, doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be bad. Different can be good. And so we're gonna do our best to embrace this and know that things are gonna look different and make the best of it as we go through these strange times that we're in. Masks, girlies! <laughs> I'll get my mask on and then we'll head into go shopping. School shop. All right, you girls have your list? Yeah, I got pencil shots in there already. All right, I have highlighters for you Pink. girls. So you can highlight what you find. So I can already check off the first thing because the backpack I used last year is still good for this year. So I'm gonna reuse my backpack. I have a red and black one of these, but pink and gray look easy. That's a cute one. I like that one, girl. I want this one. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's a cute it's one. It's shiny. I love shiny. And also, there's another cute one right here. Oh, Ooh, is that kitty? a kitty cat? Oh, that one's cute, but too. Guys, look at but what I found. Cool. Well, I like that one. I like it, but it hurts my eyes when I look at it. That does kind of hurt your eyes to look at. <laughs> composition journal. A composition journal. So you can cross that off. It's a seat protector, three hole punch. Oh, it's heavy. What'd you get now, Maya? A binder. This is your one inch binder, so this is for creative writing, I think, right? childhood with all of these Lisa Frank binders. I was obsessed with Lisa Frank. I had all her stickers, all the binders, all the folders. I just love this stuff. Oh my gosh, I would choose this if I knew. You like this one? Isn't it so cute? I'm getting this one. I Not Lisa Frank? 
now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one too. That one's yes. cool. It looks really cute. Look at this walking supply store. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's like a hologram. Yeah, and there's a wall. Ooh, that's neat. Yeah, but I don't think we need these. And the next thing you need is a vinyl oh. folder, three hole punch with pockets oh, yeah. inside. What's the folder? Oh. Whoa, look at that. Look at the puppies with hula hoops. That one's cute too. Oh, this is so cute. I'm gonna take this one instead. I'm doing the mermaid kitties. Mermaid kitties, good folder choice, Maya. I almost did the puppies, but it's not that glittery because there's no glitter, but I like it. What one are you getting? Maybe this one. Ooh, I like that one. Oh no, does it not have three hole punches though? It actually does. You oh, just does? have to poke them out. Oh good, I love that one, that's so pretty. Yeah. It's like a watercolor. I know, it looks so cute. My art teacher would literally love this. One vinyl folder, um, pencil pouch you got. Yeah, I got a pink one. Okay, we need, oh, you still need to get, oh, you got markers. And I, I got pencils. Colored pencils. Wow. You got your scissors. Okay, you need to get six vinyl subject dividers with pockets. You already got them. No, you got your vinyl folder. My Maya, dear. this is what you need to get. I get to use mechanical pencils. Those are super exciting, aren't Although they? Although I don't remember how to use them. I remember my school wouldn't let us use mechanical pencils, and I always wanted to use them, so I'm just excited as the girls are to have mechanical pencils. Ooh, we found cuter pencil pouches. Yes. What are we going for now, girls? I'm doing this. Oh, that one is so fun. I Everyone love it. Everyone in my class is going to stand there and do it. They're gonna wanna rub that, that all day long. They're gonna rub that all day long, Maya. This one's cool, but it doesn't have three rings. No. Oh, those are really cool, Maya. They're hand -washed. We need water bottles. These are cool, but they are hand wash only, so it's just not happening in this house. It's hand wash, it's not gonna get clean. organize all of our school supplies so that everything is all ready to go when that first day of school comes. One of the unique things about the girls' homeschool tutorial is they actually switch classes. So even Mai, who is only going to be in second grade, is going to have a separate history teacher, a separate science teacher, a Bible teacher, a, what else do we have? Spanish teacher, all sorts of subjects that she has to switch classes so we have to be really organized with the binder with different pockets for each class and it's going to take a lot of skill and organization for this big shift for Maya. Maya, I can help you get your binder organized so you have all different sections for all of your subjects. I need to put in my thing, my pencil pouch. Maya, the first thing that you'll want to put in is the subject dividers. So subject, subject dividers are first. Oh, the tricky thing is that for the subject dividers, you need six of them. This is five. And then one of them wouldn't be showing. Then put that in. So that's your turn in folder, Maya. So you can put that in your binder too. And then Addie, what do you have? You have her paper as well? I'm putting like half of it in because in literature sometimes our literature our literature teacher wrote a story to us while we wrote on the paper. So this is a bit more than they asked for, but. Better to have too much than too little. Yes. Okay. And then we have her pencil pouch, which I am still in love with. I love this pencil pouch. Not fit. It doesn't fit. Oh no, what in the world? It really doesn't fit? It doesn't fit. So I thought all three ring hole punch things are pretty standard, but this doesn't fit the binder. This is such a bummer. It's so cute and I won't fit inside. Wait, I That's so weird. Even though it doesn't fit, I'm just gonna make it work. Cause I love it. <laughs> I love it too, girl. 
three of each color. Right now I'm putting in the labels for um, my subjects on the subject files. So. so that's where you store all your work for each of your subjects, right? Yes. Here's my ruler. It looks like it's pretty short, but look. Ooh, and it it's not. opens up bigger. That's pretty neat, so you can keep it in your pencil pouch. Yeah. We're planning to reuse the girls' backpacks this year because they're still in really good shape. So I'm going through because we still have some of last year's books inside these backpacks. So we can put all the brand new things in so we're ready for that very first day of school. The girls are actually required to have roller backpacks at their school so they have wheels on the bottom of them and it can be rolled around because they don't have lockers, they don't have like a place to keep all of their supplies and so they have to carry them around with them from class to class. So it's important for their backs that they can roll their backpack instead of carry them on their actual backs. Let's see what Maya left in her backpack from last year. Ooh, an old water bottle. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> At least it's not an old lunchbox. That would be really bad. Ugh. And while we're talking backpacks, I'm gonna remind you that we have our very own line of Tic Tac toy backpacks that are available on our merch site. Here's one of our pink ones. And then we have this cool turquoise one. And we have a whole bunch of new colors that are coming out that are already actually out. We've ordered a whole shipment, so we can't wait to get it in so we can show you what they look like in person. But you can order those on our merch site. Do you girls remember the colors of backpacks that you picked up for our new shipment? Lime green. You did lime green, that sounds cool. What did you I do? I did purple and white. And white too, whoa. So even though we have to use our roller backpacks when the girls are at school, we actually use our Tic Tac toy backpacks quite a lot. We use those when we're out and about around town doing school. So for example, sometimes we'll take our backpacks and we'll do school at a trampoline park or at Panera Bakery. And in those cases, we always bring our Tic Tac toy backpacks because we do love them, they're nice and sturdy, and they've lasted all year for us. I feel so much more organized than last year. I have like, um, I have my, um, I have the, my pencil sharpener in this pouch right here, and then I have a ton, and I mean by a ton, a ton of mechanical pencils in this pouch. Addy gets that for me. I feel so good when I feel organized. It like calms down my insides. I just feel at peace when things are organized and neat and orderly. Oh, I just realized you girls have stuff you can already put in your turn-in folders too. What? Our summer reading. Oh yeah. Where are those? Over here. There's yours, the Addy Roo. For their summer reading, their school sent home a list of about 60 books that they could choose from, and the girls would read their books, and they completed these big packets on each of the stories. And we read some pretty good books this summer. I read The Cricket in Times Square, and I'm reading the first book of The Borrowers right now. Cool. And then, Mai, what were your books? Uh, the Boxcar Children. Yes, those were fun. We are big readers in this family and I love to keep learning going all year long. So even though we're not in school, I love to make sure we're still reading, we're still learning things, and we're keeping those minds active. I think you can pack that up now, Maya. I think you're all organized, girl. While the girls are finishing packing up, I want to remind you guys that we are on Cameo now. Cameo is an app and it's also a website. And parents, you can go there and um, you can pay for various YouTubers or even like big celebrities to record special personalized video messages for your kids. And we've had so much fun this summer recording a lot of birthday wishes for kids because we know with summer looking so different and kids being quarantined, it was a fun way for us to help make kids' birthdays extra special. So I just remind you that we are there on Cameo. We've, we've raised a lot of money this summer for No Kid Hungry. We've had a lot of fun doing it and we're excited to keep sending messages out to you guys. Are you excited to be going back to school soon? Yeah, my favorite part of going back to school is meeting the teachers. That is so much, and you're gonna have so many teachers this year, Maya. I will? Yes. I will them. How are you feeling about heading back to school, Addie? I'm feeling good. Are you? Yeah. 
Excited? Yeah, I'm excited to see my friends again. Especially since school ended early this year because of COVID-19. I'm also excited to see if there's new kids, which there will be, just so I can help them around. That's right. Addie, you've been the new kid in school the last two years, and she's had some nice buddies who have been able to help her around. So this year, you get to do the same thing. You get to help the new kids. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to show them around the school. We really hope that all of you have a wonderful start to the school year too. We know that the school year is gonna look a little different than our past school years. And <laughs> are you excited for it, Maya? Yes. And back. even though it looks different, we can't always control the circumstances. We can control how we react to them. So we're gonna have really good attitudes here. We're gonna look for the good in the times and we're gonna try to put a smile on our face. Can you give me a big smile, Maya? That's a good one. That's a perfect smile. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to Tic Tac Toy Family and Tic Tac Toy by pressing that subscribe button because I've told the girls that if we can get two million subscribers on Tic Tac Toy Family and five million subscribers on Tic Tac Toy, we're gonna do a huge meet and greet. We're gonna have an epic meet and greet. Yes. So we want that to happen. We need you guys to help us make it happen. So go make sure you're subscribed to Tic Tac Toy and Tic Tac Toy Family. And what are we gonna say, Maya? Epic.